it is to defend a quarterback like Jalen Milrow, the fact he can keep plays alive and, and scramble. Just what is the discipline it takes as a defensive back to you know, try to keep up when you don't know exactly what it, what he's going to do on a given play? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing is just kind of trusting the front to do their job and they trust us to do our job. Um, you know how uh, Russian coverage works together. I think uh, we got to do a great job on the back end of scrambling and you know staying in coverage, not coming out of coverage, and letting the front up, let the front do their job. Um, and just trusting them that they're going to stay in the rush lanes and, uh, you know, be all be play as a unit, be connected. I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah, what has Traveris Robinson said this week about facing his old team in Alabama and how much do you think a win would mean for him this week? Yeah, um, really just, you know, he's such, a, he's such a competitive person and I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, from this week, it's just like he wants to go out there and compete and win. You know, like there's no bad blood or any hatred or anything. He just wants to go in and be competitive. And he knows like they have they have good players. We have good players, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a really good game. But uh, he just wants us to go out there and do our job and just let loose. Yeah, Malachi, you, you've already accomplished a lot in your time here. But the, the one thing you haven't done is, is beat Alabama. Just how much of a motivation is that for you and maybe some of the other guys in that uh, 22 class that came in with you? Yeah, um, I think I think that's a little. A little tough because that was our first loss, at least my class, when we for us coming in. So you know, just kind of wanted to, you know, you know, check that box off, just do the right thing. Um, but you know, really just want to focus on, you know, day by day. Uh, you know, the steps that we need to take to be able to, you know, get to that point um, and just grow throughout the week, so we can uh, go out there and just be us on Saturday. Yeah, how does having a versatile defender like Jalen Walker in the front make your life easier? Is it secondary? Yeah, uh, you know when you when you got a guy like him who can, you know, rush or you know stand on the line or even drop in coverage, uh, and as long as he plays on for a little bit, I, I think it helps a lot. You know, because you know like I said, rushing coverage works together. So you know if you got a guy, you know, you know he's coming like that, you know you got to get the ball out pretty quick, and that that allows me to do my job a lot easier. You know, with him and Michael and those guys up front. Um, just, you know, freaks. Uh, it allows me just to go out there and just let loose. We've seen Ty Ingram Dawkins make some plays the last yeah. couple of weeks. Uh, just what does he bring to that defensive line and what you've seen from him so far this year? Um, uh, he, he's a big part. I think the biggest thing is he, he's been practicing very well. Um, you know, he's been having his, his best games too, and I think, uh, you know, he, he slept on a lot. A lot of people don't really don't really talk about him, uh, but, you know, he's one of those guys that you got to watch out for. Uh, you know, he's athletic, he's strong, he's physical, he can move. Uh, you know, he, he has everything that you want to have, so just to see him, and, you know, he stepped up into a bigger role too. Um, you know, just kind of being able to, you know, lead some of the guys and um, just step into a new role with his. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what, he, what he's going to do for sure. Yeah, during, during a week like this, how much do you and, and another guy like Dan, who's played a lot of football, mm -hmm. compare notes on what you saw from Milro last year? Also, how much do y'all just share that experience with guys like Jonelle and, and KJ who haven't yeah. necessarily played against Milro? Yeah, um, I think that's a week-to-week, day-to-day thing. Uh, you know, it's not just this week. I think it's, it's any week. Uh, you know, me, me and Dan sit beside each other and meet him, so we, we talk. And, you know, if you see something, hey, like, how do you see this? Do you do you see this as that? Or, or do, you, do you make this call? Um, you know, we bounce back and forth just trying to get on the same page be on the same level and I think that just kind of rubs down from the top to the bottom, you know, the young guys, um, you know, it's kind of the same thing, you know, we got to the field, hey, like, if they do this, where you have this, they motion, where do you got? So just trying to be able to, you know, think about, you know, reaching that motion and, you know, like anticipate what's going to happen. I think that's the biggest thing, just so we can all be on the same page because you're never all going to be on the same page, but you can get as close as you possibly can. You know, Dylan was just telling us that the team is aware of what Jalen Milrow said about you guys quitting in last year's SEC championship. Yeah. Just how much motivation does that provide this defense? Yeah, um, I think, you know, it is what it is. I think, uh, you know, that's this kind of defense we got. We're a very competitive defense. Um, we, we believe that we're very strong and physical and fast, and that's, that's how we play the game of football. Um, you know, you come to Georgia to play defense, and I think, I think that's what it is. And, you know, um, you know, they have a great offense, so we just we got back to work for sure. Uh, it's not really a thing that we try to harp on too much. We just want to go out there and be the best defense that we can be. There has been an awful lot of fuss made over there, uh, wide receiver Ron Williams, the yeah. 17 year old freshman. Yeah. Uh, it, it, just your view of him uh, and, and uh, what kind of a challenge does he present in their wide receiver core overall? Yeah, uh, don't let the age fool you. He can, he can, he can go. Yeah. Um, 
And I think, uh, you know, a bunch of people kind of kind of got that, that was kind of thing. You know, he's a young player in the SEC, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But he, he, can, he can play. And I think, you know, you got to you gotta be on your P's and Q's just being able to be on the same page. Um, you know, he's a great catch radius. He's fast, quick, he can move. Um, you know, so that's going to be very competitive. And the whole game is going to be very competitive. So we're, we're excited about it. I was going to ask you about Ryan, but since he did, I'm just going to circle back to the, the question about Delaro. So, did you disagree with this assessment that he said that you guys looked defeated and, and didn't want it anymore? Um, you know, I don't, I, I don't try to pay too much attention to it. Um, you know, I don't, I don't ever think that's something that, uh, you know, that goes with the G is being defeated. I don't, I don't, I don't think that at all. But, you know, um, it is what it is, and we just, like I said, we just want to go be the best defense that we can be. How did the win in Kentucky, how can kind of pulling out a game like that in the fourth quarter help you guys going into an underrated environment this Saturday and going down the rest of the season? Yeah, um, uh, it's hard to win on the road in the SEC. Um, it's hard to win on the road in general, but especially in the SEC. And I think, you know, when you have those type of games, you really just figure out <clears throat> what what type of team you got. Um, you know, I think uh, we saw that we were very connected um, and had, had a bunch of resiliency. Um, you know, that we're able to take care of each other. Defense is able to take care of offense. Offense is able to take care of defense when needed. So I think uh, you really learn about, about your team and what kind of guys you have on your roster when you have games like that. Any more from Malachi? All right, thank you, Malachi. Thank you, Malachi. Thank you.